Currently, I'm on Flipboard, Flipboard.com. It's a more reliable source in terms of RSS feed because that is what they're mainly into. Obviously, there are going to be other sites that have similar capabilities, but this is one reliable source that I've found that I've been using in terms of getting content created that has good images and it comes from a lot of the top uh, sources in terms of entrepreneur.com, Business Insider, Forbes, Fast Company, CNN, all of these different things or top rated websites that people identify with and the RSS feed itself is pretty decent in terms of graphics and information. If you were in a different niche, you could come over here and search to see if there's anything in relation to whatever you're doing. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna go with business and I'm gonna show you how to set up an RSS feed using flipboard.com and I'll also point out the different things you need to look at when you're looking at the data. All right, so I'm going to copy that URL. I'm going to go over to Zapier. I'm going to make a zap. I'm going to select RSS feed. My trigger event is whenever a new item comes in the feed. When there's a new updated post, it's going to trigger. I'm going to paste that URL and then I'm going to add .rss. And this is going, this is how I get to the feed. This is not always the, the way to get the complete RSS feed from a website. Some websites actually have an actual feed URL, so it would be flipboard.com forward slash feed. And usually you could get the feed from basic websites that way, but it's not uniform. So pretty much you would have to do some research to find the RSS feed for certain websites. But in case of using Flipboard, I just added dot RSS and that will give me the feed information. There's no username, there's no password, and I don't need to mess with the, the trigger new feed item. So I'm going to hit continue, and it's going to test the feed to make sure it's a feed, and this is the data that comes through. So a lot of you, when you're going through setting it up, you'll see a whole lot of stuff here, and it's hard to really decipher what you're looking at. On the left hand side is what Zapier is going to categorize the information as. Title, this is a link to the actual article. This is text when it was published. This is a description. If you're setting it up as a post for your Facebook group, Facebook page, number one thing you wanna make sure you have is that you have the image. How do you find the image? Usually the, the image will end in .jpg or .png and it will tell you that that is the URL for the image that is used inside of the article. Not every image is going to have the same description, but when you're using <coughs> Zapier, they see it as the at URL and that is the information you're gonna need if you're going to just be posting images. For the purpose of this video, all you really need is the link to the actual article, which is right, where is it at? The link to the article here, and the image itself is going to pop up by itself. So now that I explained all the data, I'm gonna hit continue. Next thing we want it to do, we want it to post on our Facebook page. We're going to create a new page post. Hit continue. And then we're going to select my Facebook page. 
my Facebook account and then it's going to ask me which page I'll just put it on my personal page for now <clears throat> the message this is basically the text portion of the post so I want to have the title or I could even go with the description this is just the text if you're posting to like Twitter or uh, LinkedIn where there's you're not allowed to have X amount of characters basically you just sticking with the title is best because it's short to the point and it's usually the eye-catching piece for visitors <clears throat> next I'll add in the hashtags and these are just random hashtags just to show you where to add them this is the messaging this is the basic information the link URL is right here we went through and we saw that this is the link to the article and then we want to continue <clears throat> so it went through and this basically saying when it posts a new message it's gonna have the title hashtags and the link URL to that particular article and then I can test and review which I'll just test and review and we could go over to my Facebook page to see what it looks like let's go with this is my business page and there you find the article that we just created with start the new year off right with business entrepreneur business tips and as you can see this is the article that's the image and that is this article right here that came from the RSS feed so I hope I didn't confuse you too much but basically you want to find you're going to have to test and sort to see where you want your information to come from this is a shortcut because I did look through different RSS feed to try to find the best RSS feed that suits my target audience you you're gonna to have to do the same obviously I can't do that for everyone but basically this is a good place to start <clears throat>